Solutions. Today we are at the beautiful Saks Gallery once more and we have the pleasure of meeting one of our contemporary artists here in Nigeria. His name goes by Mr. Alex Mungkolo and he'll be taking us around all the contemporary arts at Saks Gallery located at Lekki Face One Steel. Stick with me as we go around these beautiful and amazing pieces together with Mr. Alex. Very low key on the profile. Well, um, these are my market series, and we all know that within the geographical location which these markets are situated, as in the Lagos metropolis, we have um, lots of markets with um, commuters within the market space and the vehicular movements. So this is my own registration of um, the Balogun market scene where you have lots of um, activities going on with people buying and selling, a lot of commercial activities going on with people buying and selling, people just moving around the street and looking for one thing or the other, making their living, you know, with the um, the, the, the buildings and the environmental, the buildings behind the scenes. So a lot of all this series, including this, is the Balogu Market series, which could also be seen as um, the Lagos Island Market, depending on where you want to look at it from. The bottom one is also a market series, but here I've decided to play with the symbols I've eliminated the structures behind the backdrop of the market, as in, it has no, it's not a specific market, but it's a market series where I've decided to play with colors, patterns, designs, and symbols. So here, I've chosen to use yellow as my dominant color. And then I decided also to bring in white as a color that will easily pop out of the yellow background, because yellow is a very strong color, a warm color, advancing at you. So using white has been able to create a contrast where you can also, you can, I can break down the designs into light and shade. So that is one of the reasons why white has been used on the ground here to create contrast. Literally, this very work has to do with designing reputation of patterns. You know? So that is what this is all about. And then I come to this very one which is the Sunset series. It's a different team. It's a different team from the other three. The Sunset series has always been my expression of um, a neighborhood. It's a neighborhood. When you look carefully, you will see the, the marks on the work, illustrating the corrugated roofs, roofs of the angles, the, di the, the diagonals, and the windows, illustrating the roofs of buildings, walls of buildings, and the shutters, the windows. You know, so here now I've incorporated the sun. The sun in the sense is just a contrast, a kind of design in the middle. The, 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 the circular form represents the sun and any other objects or elements. But here we know the sun is round in shape. I've incorporated the sun to break the monotony of red on the whole um, surface area of the world by using yellow ochre to create that difference. But still, the same element, the same um, pattern and um, brush and knife marks that you have on the red side is the same thing that is happening on the yellow side. It's just the break that I've given in terms of color um, difference as now is, is only there to illustrate the roundness of the sun and the, the surrounding of the sun which is also charged you know to create the design where which I always refer to my, as my sunset 
series. In this part of the gallery, I have things that has to do with um, the female forms. And I'll start with this. This theme is a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a subject that I've really, really, that I find fascinating and I've worked severally on this theme. I call it the Women Liberation Series, the Women Empowerment Series, and there are also other um, titles that I've developed along the line. But I'll just limit my scope to the work in question. It's a mixed media work where I have um, created, repeated the forms of the female form to create the design. And um, the, within the scope of the Nigerian landscape, we have what we call the Ashwebi series, when you have occasions and big women or men buy clothes to show their closeness to the family that is celebrating. The, the scarf series where people use the same materials to show the actual pieces, to show their support for the celebrant, also happens there where you also have the um, O2. Different um, female and women fem organizations where they wear the same um, regatta to the function to show that this is a group thing or we are here in solidarity, in support of the person that is celebrating. So I've used, I've represented this in mixed media. While on the other hand, the same thing here is also in mixed media, but it's more of a very light skinned mixed media where the texture and the um, number of materials that are put together to create this is very light compared to that. The, te the color texture on this is stronger than this. They both fall on the same subject, which is um, 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 the Women Liberation Series. So this is also to illustrate that you can have a team and you can express that thing in different with different materials, thereby the possibilities in, on just one subject is so wide that you can create a lot from just a subject in different forms. That also takes me to the Ashwabi series. This is a 2000, year 2000 painting. This is purely um, a painting. It's not a mixed media, it's just painting. I don't always know of the Ashwabi series still, where um, we dress up to support, to belong to the same group or whatever shape it takes. In the Ashwabi series, you see that they are wearing the same um, um, attire, women on the same attire, they are women. Men wear Ashwabi too, but I'm sure a lot of artists too rather express, I mean, put together the pass on the message that the series with the women form. Just like I talked about this, here is the, this is the 3D, the um, mixed media form of this, which is realistic. The mixed media form, I have decided to do fabric collage here. I also have newspaper there. I have um, a kind of um, rope from a fiber. I have cotton and I have color. So it's mixed media where I've broken down the, the shapes of the women and decide to use the shapes that, are, that they have created as my elements in producing this. It's a cloth collage where I've combined a lot of materials to create the artwork.
I hope you enjoyed it too. Please like and subscribe to our videos and be the first to know what's up 360. Give us a thumbs up down there and be a part of our family. Thank you very much.